Okay, this is just a short comprehensive video about planes. There are hundreds of videos out there about different types and uh, that YouTube channel, Plane Collector, is probably one of the best YouTube channels to watch restoration of these old planes. These are just mine that I use, and I'll just tell you my experience of planes. So, first plane I ever bought was this Keen Cutter 4.5. It was really cheap. It was at an auction. And then I started learning more about the makers of planes and everything else. Which ones to get, which ones are the good ones. And basically, I, Stanley planes are the ones that I try and mainly collect. Um, you can identify a Stanley pretty easy if you know what to look for. All Stanleys have the uh, frog adjustment screw in the back. Like this Montgomery Wards number three, I spot on eBay. See that? has the frog adjuster right there. That that one was made by Stanley. There are other wards mashed out there made by Star Sergeant, and they don't do they do not have the frog adjustment screw in the back. <laughs> Additionally, I started collecting bedrock planes. Well, no, take the back. I started collecting Winchester planes, but not all Winchesters are created equal. For instance, uh a little history. What I've, what I've read is that Winchester was going bankrupt, and so they briefly made hardware. So uh, Stanley initially was the, the first dealer to make hardware tools for Winchester. And so here's a few of them. This is the W5 and the ultra-rare W5.5. Now, what's interesting about these Winchester planes is that they're Type 3 bedrock plane. They're a bedrock in the skies. Again, not all Winchesters are created equal. The later Winchesters, the more common ones, are made by Sargent. And they're, to me, I don't find them that good at all. At the same time, Simmons Hardware also had Stanley briefly make planes for him. And this is a and the same thing as the Winchesters are Type 3 bedrocks. This is a K3. You can tell. K3. And here is a K5.5. Now you can tell these are bedrocks because of the flat slope for the frog adjustment. This one I'm kind of currently trying to restore. I bought it on eBay. Here is a K4. Again, there is the adjustment. Do not let these markings fool you because some people will advertise sergeant planes with the K identification or the W identification, but what the, the sergeant Winchester ones identify of a 3000 number and the keen cutter sergeant planes have a KK. So let's go back to this one I bought. This is a KK four and a half. And I'll show you the difference here. I'll take this off. As you can see, it is a completely different bottom. They are not the same manufacturer planes. This number four and a half, I have never been able to use. It either digs too deep or too shallow, and I have no idea why. I think it's just the way that the sole is done. So if you can get if you can get one of these going, then that's great. I couldn't. And here's another one I'm restoring. This is again not. It has a similar looking of a Stanley, but it's not a Stanley because Stanleys have the circular lateral adjustment where this is flat. And also, again, you see it's missing the rear frog adjustment. Later, Stanleys did eventually do away with that. Like this is another plane I bought. This is what they would call a handyman. But on like the older ones, like my number eight jointer, there it is. This is, the, this is my number eight joint. This is the only plan I got that's corrugated. And it, despite being a corrugated bottom, it actually works re really well. I was able to joint this bench. Apart from that, I got my scrub plane, a number four. Another number three, which I bought, because I'm starting to like these number threes. And then there is my newer model, Stanley 10 and a half rabbit plane, which I've done a previous video on all by itself. But again, just a quick guide and a kind of a quick run through of what I got and what I like to use.
Thanks for watching.